technology and real life scenarios are helping improve national security. A state of the facility at Camp Pendleton allows Marines to experience war zones without ever leaving base. CW6's Carlos Correa live in studio now with how this all works. Carlos. Senator, good afternoon. It's called the Combat Convoy Simulator. The animation and even the sound are so realistic, it makes the troops feel like they are right in the middle of an actual fight. Convoy backed up approximately 300 meters from the explosive device. Inside the operations control center is where the scenario development begins. Just go ahead and make sure you have the area cordoned off. It's a detailed operation unit leaders from the U.S. Marine Corps are looking over very closely. Roger, I copy all. The exercise is part of an intense training that takes place regularly at the Combat Convoy Simulator at Camp Pendleton. Shortly after 9-11 when we started, uh, when the Marine Corps started running into a lot of uh, uh, improvised explosive devices or IEDs or vehicle-borne IEDs that we needed to standardize our convoy operating procedures. The facility was built in 2008 and now there are four more located at other bases. What the Marines want to get out of this is basically to take their unit to the next level. The simulator helps cut down on the time needed to prepare weapons and vehicles for exercises. It also eliminates injuries and saves money on fuel. These vehicles simulate actual vehicles we have. The Humvees are so realistic, leaders say young Marines use them as a test run for the real thing. The Marines gave me the opportunity to take a close look inside. Either grab it underneath and put it on top and rest your cheek on your hand. Okay. And then just fire away? Fire. And I also experienced the power of the vehicle's fully automatic gun that shoots six to eight hundred rounds a minute. The projectors in the room take servicemen and women pretty much anywhere, from the desert to the mountains. You have a uh, civilian population there. Some may be carrying weapons, some may be considered hostile, some don't. And it prepares Marines to keep Americans safe. This actually helps Marines build, you know, build the next fighting force for wherever the next battle may be. Last year, close to 8,500 military personnel trained on the system, and this year, leaders expect that number to go even up. I'm Carlos Crabb. Back to you.